Hello, this is a dude named Kemp, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you use the uh, program found in the Source Software Development Kit uh, called Hammer Editor to create a uh, simple six-sided room. Uh, this Hammer Editor is used to create uh, maps that use the uh, Source Engine, which itself is used in, um, let's say, the Half-Life 2, the recent Half-Life 2 games, and um, Team Fortress 2 and Counter Strike Source and all those games recently by Valve, released by Valve, and um, so and uh, mis correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that Source SDK comes with any game that you buy off of Steam that uh, that has a Source engine. So um, you simply have to open it, uh, go to Hammer Editor. And naturally, it's going to take forever because my computer is crap. Oh, and also, I apologize in advance if there's any um, lag in this. I'm using a free sc screen recorder, so yeah. It's going to open up. This doesn't usually take this long, but since I'm recording, obviously. File, you go to File, click New, and it's going to bring up these four different windows. These three, this one, this one, and this one are all different um, just two-dimensional views of the map you're going to make which you will see in here but before you can use the this is going to be a three-dimensional camera that you will use. Well, before you can use this you'll have to um... <coughs> you have to go to view and click center 3d views on selection and press z to use the camera and simply you're, it's um... If you ever used uh, the Source console and you ever heard of no clip, the command no clip, this is basically it. You just your WASD and the mouse to look around. Press the again to <coughs> get out of that, and um, to create a um, a wall, just a simple wall. You go to a block tool on the left here, and here down here it's uh, front view. So you'll just make a um, simple square right here and uh, to create it, you, c you can press enter or j or um, create object as you can see here we have just a simple wall oh and the polygons turn red when they're highlighted so you just click out of that if you use the selection tool you can select it and click outside of it to unhighlight it but um... to unhighlight it <coughs> but uh... The default texture that it will use when you open a hammer editor is this um, brick texture. It's over here. Brick slash brick floor 001A. And uh, to get it, if, if it doesn't look like this, if it doesn't look textured, it's because you have to go to view and um, it might be on wireframe, in which all you see is a wireframe. You can highlight that. and uh, Or filled polygon, which is just a Land polygon. You can select while um, moving around with the camera, by the way. Or a textured polygon, which is what it should look like. Or, if you can do that, you can also make a 3D shaded textured polygon. Um, let's see for the purpose of this. Okay, uh, right here, in each of these three dimensional views, where the uh, blue lines intersect, here, let me move this for you. Uh, it says right, right there. That's the origin in each of these. This is a view from the top. This is the view from the side. This is a view from the front. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, to since it's obviously going to be a room, you're going to have to create six of these. So uh, this one isn't, you know, a perfect square. So you know, it's going to be different dimensions for each of the walls. Um, so you can uh, copy this. Let's go to this view to create a copy of it. You can um, right click, press copy, right click, paste. But 
and you can move that around. You see, the only way you can move objects, obviously, is with these um, three. Which ain't very efficient, but yeah, whatever. And uh, but if you're lazy like me, let's delete that. If you're lazy like me, you can just click it and press hold shift, move it. It'll just create a copy. So um. <clears throat> Now, since this is going to be a wall, it's obviously going to have to be um, uh, in line with it on these axes. You can create this. This grid helps you align stuff, and to um, to make it small. See, as you can see here, it can go up and down based on these. But if you want a, a larger, or I'm sorry, uh, well, a grid with more more area to put it around in, easier to maneuver. Then uh, you go up here. You click smaller grid or left bracket and yeah, you press that and you'll be able to move it much more freely around uh, much more space yeah, okay. or if you want a smaller one as you can see the other graphs also change if you want smaller um, <coughs> a grid size then uh, click that see it gets more basic till you, you can only move it over large areas Let's go back to that. Okay, and um, now since you can use the um, these things to check if they're aligned, right? If these two walls are aligned, then you'll be able to make sure you've already done two of the uh, six walls we're gonna do. So next we're gonna have a um, a third. So go back to the block tool and choose the um, choose another one of these that you already haven't created a wall in and make another one. Now we're going to make them uh let's make one here. Now we're going to let the um walls actually go into each other, intersect sort of. And um I'm gonna show you why in a second. So here we have another wall and you can resize it to fit the other two using the uh using these different views. And uh, again just shift B here let's see out here. And there you have another one. Like I said before, they have to go into each other like this. I'll show you why in a second. Okay. The last one we have to do is uh, let's see which one are we? Right here, I guess. Um so go back to the block tool and uh, create another wall right here on this one. Make make sure actually it goes across no not like that. Make sure it goes across of them, across them, so you know covers the. It'll be our ceiling, I guess you could say. It goes across them and it fits it right, so that it intersects with all the other ones. Press enter. So now you have this one, which also <coughs> goes through the other ones. And then lastly, you're going to. Uh, and lastly, you're going to uh, copy that or just hold shift and move that down and there you have a very basic six-sided room now the reason I had them uh, intersect you can see here they intersected you can hold control to select multiple ones multiple polygons the reason I had them intersect like that was because if you create a map in which there is a um, an opening into the um, into I guess we called the void with just infinite space there, then um, the game, w the map will not run. It will not be able to run in the um, in whatever game you made the map for. So um, you have to make sure, absolutely sure, that there are no holes or openings. Otherwise, it just won't work. It just simply won't work. All right, let's see here. Um, now um, that's it for this video, and uh, in case. And uh, I should point out that almost all, actually pretty much everything I uh, learned of how to do this, which is just, this is very basic. You can do much more than this with Hammer Editor. The um, <coughs> this is just the bare basics of what you have to know to make maps. But uh, most of what I learned here, uh, pretty much all, was uh, is found in the um, Valve Developer Community, which is you can. I'll show you the web page here. Uh, and of course it's gonna go extremely slow, but um, it's just a website that that uh pretty much contains it's like a wik it's Wikipedia basically, 
it's a Wikipedia page, and uh, contains all the information about the Valve games and the uh, Source engine. And wow, that's slow. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, as you can see here, that they actually have a site for making your first map using a uh, Source uh, Source SDK, the Hammer Editor. And uh, this is what I used to show you this. So uh, I'm going to provide the link in the description for you to uh, use to find this. So yeah, if you want more information about how to do how to make maps like this, not like that, like much more complicated, then uh, then you can go here and make. And this will show you how to make a simple map. But Hammer can do a lot more than just what I've shown you. So that's it. And uh, well, I guess that's that's it. That's the end. Subscribe, rate, and comment. I guess. Good. You don't have to subscribe, but please rate and tell me what you thought of this.